All right, we're going to show you how to do some basic maintenance on the Clark forklift. Pretty easy. We're going to check the engine oil first. And Mike, you're going to go ahead and pull that latch back right there. Just like that. Now lift the seat. It's a little tricky. And then this will come right down. All right, and then to get this back down, what you're going to do is just lift up on it and then... Uh, and then uh, pull pull this little tab back, okay? It's a little tricky. Uh, what it is, just check the engine oil. So there's a dipstick right here, all right? And the engine oil's good, because we already checked it. All right, if you need to add oil, you just take the cap off, add half quart, quart, whatever you need. Okay, you're gonna pull, pull that latch back down. Thank you very much. Then we're going to check the coolant level here. All right, there's your cap. Make sure you haven't been running it hot. And there's coolant in there. All right, we add a 50 50 mix. All right, 50 water, 50 antifreeze. And we're just going to come around here. Here's your air filter. All right, you check that. Uh, Every six months, clean it out. It gets a little dusty in there. All right, and then you have your hydraulic fluid. There's your dipstick for that. Okay, that's full. If you need to add fluid to the hydraulic fluid system, you just take this cap off, add the required amount of hydraulic fluid, put the cap back on, secure it. Uh, now we're going to get to the transmission. It doesn't take anything but tractor oil. You have to use tractor oil. So what we did is we just, you have to lift the boom up on the mast, all right? And make sure, we just put this here for demonstration purposes. Make sure you get a piece of wood high enough to where this doesn't slip down for some reason. It probably won't, but it's just a safety feature. And you, just stick that right down there and just lower the boom on the piece of wood. You just need the, the correct length of wood. Then you get yourself a, a 3 8 inch, the end of the socket wrench, okay? It's a square hole that goes right in here like this. And then you loosen that plug up, all right? And that'll have access to the transmission case. And then you can add your tractor oil. Okay, it'll probably be low. We check that every three months. Okay, we use a funnel. You just stick it in the hole. And then you add your tractor oil until it starts dripping out just slightly. Then you know the case is full. You can use a flashlight, look inside there. Make sure that case is topped off. Okay. And that's basically it for uh, maintaining this uh, forklift. So you got your tractor oil for your transmission. You have your 50-50 coolant, water, antifreeze, your motor oil, which is a 1030 or straight 30 weight. We put straight 30 in there. And your hydraulic fluid.